This is my latest show, Vital Signs, which um, I've been moved to paint due to the current situation in the world, which has been going on for some, some time. Climate change has been damaging the environment through drought and uh, long periods of heat and fire. And um, so the paintings that I've created are around that sort of theme. And of course, for me, color is the major part of my art. This painting sums up uh, the, the whole exhibition, I guess, about climate change and global warming. It's called the Jolly Swagman's Billabong. 125 years ago, Walsing Matilda was, was written and uh, we have this romantic notion of the Australian landscape and the bush. So what's happened in recent decades is the, the global warming has changed that uh, landscape and so I've created a, a fictional billabong with, um, surrounded by the inferno of fire but due to long periods of drought and heat. Even the water has this uh, rather lurid green which has uh, been derived from the algal bloom that uh, we, we, we see in so many of the rivers, like the Murray Darling for instance. Uh, this painting's called The Heat Sits Heavy on the Land and it's an interesting process that I go through because the heat is an abstract and so how does one paint heat? Well for me colour is the is the medium which I can go through to create the atmosphere of heaviness um, and yet there are areas that I want to be slightly realistic so uh, the hills that are bare and uh, the colours of drought where there is no green from rain and of course the colour oranges and the reds are very dramatic um, colours which are indicative of, of heat. Well, after any trauma or devastation in the landscape, there has to be reconstruction and hope that comes with that. Uh, this painting is called The Reconstruction of the Body, the body as like a metaphor for our lives. And the line work is the animation of that. And the colors are more subdued. They're not so much about the devastation as harmonious. The anatomical shapes are swirling around the space trying to find reconstruction within a new, a new body and a new state of affairs. I love having lots of stuff around me, plants, indoor plants. I've started trying out indoor plants. I've never been that good at it, but it's amazing uh, the, the sort of adventure that you can go through. Well, this is a little still life I prepared earlier. Very joyful flowers, which I suddenly realized that the colors of it had appeared in one of the paintings I had done a few months ago. Not all my paintings are about serious content. It's sometimes important to have some lightheartedness in my art, and that comes through with the colors. And I realized that the fruit and the, the vegetables and flowers, they can bring a completely different tone to my work. The garden is something that's ongoing in my life and um, I just love being in it. It's a very grounding place to be. I think nature is, is something that drives my inspiration in my art, whether I'm in the mountains or uh, wherever. Oh, it, it really inspires my work and nature is so full of beautiful colours and I'm sure it permeates into my work eventually. These chrysanthemums are a wonderful colour, yeah. And you know, autumn, as, as we've seen with all the trees, have just such amazing colours that, that come out and change. I mean, I'm even inspired by flowers that have died. These are blue Michaelmas daisies, but the colour is that they are now in their death is, is just as in, in, interesting. Well, I love to play music. It's, music really feeds my soul. Um, I don't do it for money, I do it for the love of it and uh, love playing with other people and jamming and uh, improvisation. It's a bit like art, a lot of improvisation. 
Um, I love playing music from different cultures. <laughs> I think just lover of life.